Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this part 3 episode, I am going to demonstrate my project. Without further ado, let's get into it. Uh, first I have initialized the maven project I have got the file structure that I want and then I have created a package and in that I have created a class for the servlet and, and then I have created a basic HTML structure which takes in username and password and date of birth as the input from the user And then I have made the required changes that are, that are to be made for the servlet to be recognized by our project. So I have made some changes in the web.xml. I have initialized the servlet name, servlet class and the URL pattern that has to be followed for the servlet to render on the page. Uh, I have just taken help from my previous assignments and internet for building my servlet. I have downloaded the required dependencies for my project uh, through MBN central repository. I have just copied the XML format that is used to download the dependency and pasted in pom.xml which is uh, the important file in our project. So here I am resuming my servlet uh, development. I have used HTTP servlet class for my servlet development. Uh, I have also used request dispatcher class to uh, either include or forward the request and the response objects so that uh, my servlet will be able to communicate with other servlets too. Uh, now I have created one more class which is database.java This is not a servlet but uh, just uh, work as a backend through which I can either create a table, insert some values into it and then uh, get the output from it by using the select operation Uh, the database.java has a method called as put data which has parameters username, password and the date of birth so it takes those as a parameters and put those values in the table that is created by the same put data method so this put data method just creates a table if, if it doesn't exist this table has username, password, date of birth and the date of registration
and here I have created an instance of class database as DB and I have used that instance to get the methods put data in the main underscore servlet dot java And now till here the insertion of data into database that is the action of registration is completed. This method called getData in the database class just simply renders the database the whole database on a page after a successful insertion of data. So here at this point I have thought why not to render the whole data from the database on a JSP instead of a servlet page. So I have implemented that too. So at this point I have added the functionality of login. So here I have created an another HTML page for the login which takes an username and password as an input from the user. So here it first takes the username that is entered by the user in the login page and searches for the username the, whether it is present or not in the database. If that is present it will uh, go for the password validation or else it will throw a new error calling no username found.
and here password validation is done by just the combination of username and password using an AND operator. So the query is, is something that goes like this. Select star from the store underscore user that is the name of the table uh, where username is the username that is passed as a parameter and password is equal to password that is also passed as a parameter to the function. So here at the time of password validation, if the query that is select star from store underscore user where username is equal to user and password is equal to password fails, that is if it returns a null result set. So it has to throw an exception, no password, sorry, invalid password found. The link for the final project is down below in the description, so check it out. Thank you.